American English. American English. Teach and learn. American English. <laughs> this teaching tip topic. Kevin will explore how to make a foldable mini-book for learning academic English vocabulary. Welcome, Kevin. Hey, everyone. My name is Kevin, and today I'm going to show you an easy, fun, and useful vocabulary teaching tool that can be used with all types of English language learners. Let's get started. Today, we'll explore how to make a foldable vocabulary book for learning academic English vocabulary. Let me show you how. Creating a foldable vocabulary mini-book is a vocabulary activity that's great for helping your students learn new vocabulary in an engaging and interesting way. It's an especially helpful tool for teaching English for science, technology, engineering, and math. But it's also useful for general English too. Let's look at how to make it. As you can see in the picture on the upper left-hand side is a standard size sheet of paper. First, fold it in half. Now open the paper and fold one of the sides into the middle like this. Next, fold the other side of the paper into the middle like this. For the last step, cut a line halfway down one of the sides of the first fold. Then cut a line halfway down one of the sides of the second fold. Your blank foldable vocabulary book should look like this. Now let's briefly talk about STEM and what it means. You may have heard the acronym STEM before. An acronym is an abbreviation or a short form of a word that many English speakers use. STEM English is specifically used in science, technology, engineering, and math. Now, many of you may think that STEM English is useful for only these specialized fields or for certain academic disciplines, but I challenge you to think of English beginners too. Let's look at an example STEM vocabulary word, hydroponics. Many STEM words originally come from Greek or Latin. Hydroponics means growing plants in water, not soil. Hydro means water, and ponics comes from the Greek word pon, which means to labor or to work. If you recall, the prefix hydro means water. You can write the word hydro on the upper left-hand corner of the mini book. Underneath hydro, you can write the definition of hydro, where the word came from, Greek, and what it means in English, water. Then, on the upper right-hand corner, you can write ponics. Underneath ponics, you can write ponos, which means to labor or to work. You can also write Greek, because that's where the root word came from. Now we will open our mini books and fill in the inside pages. One way to help students recall new words is to give them many opportunities to hear or use the word. Explain to your students they can draw a picture which represents hydro. In this case, I drew a little plant with rainwater coming down on the plant. Underneath the picture, I've written some words related to hydro, such as hydrate, dehydrate, rehydrate, and hydration. Now, on the other side of the mini book, draw a picture to represent tonics which means to work. Again, as you can see, I drew a simple picture of a man working. Just so you know, he's holding an ax, which is a tool used to cut down trees. And like the other side, I wrote some words relating to ponics, such as aeroponics, geoponics, and aquaponics. This is our finished product. Just think, after a few vocabulary lessons, your students can collect their pages and have a mini book in just a few weeks time. You can collect the mini books to check on student progress. Your students can also keep their books and be even more confident in learning English as they look back at all the great work they've done. Summing up, today we explored how to make a foldable vocabulary book for learning academic English vocabulary. Thanks for joining me today. I hope you had fun, but more importantly, I hope you learned some new vocabulary activities to share with all types of English language learners. To check out other great teaching tip videos, be sure to subscribe to our American English YouTube channel. You can find resources for teachers on the American English website, and if you haven't already, be sure to like us on the American English for Educators Facebook page.